Yo, 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 what is up? Paps back here with another video, and today we're going to be answering a question that I feel is important enough to make a video on its own about. And this may seem like a beginner question or a beginner video to a lot of you, but I've uh, been asked this from a lot of different ranks, um, from gold all the way up to grand champ. Um, and I think it's good to just have an explanation for it. Uh, but before we get into it, um, I have a creator code. It's Paps, dude. Support me if you'd like to. I would appreciate it. Um, and also Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all links in the description. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into talking about why you should have your air roll bound with your power slide. And first of all, um, and obviously, it frees up a bind and this is more towards people that had power slide as its own bind um if you wanted to learn a directional air roll and you're telling yourself i don't really have space for it i don't have a bind um that would be good for you because you'll have a free bind to put that um and you might be thinking you know why would i put power slide and air roll on the same bind wouldn't it affect each other wouldn't it be a problem and the answer is no um, if you were to have power slide on air roll left or right, that would be a problem because, you know, when you press that button, your car is going to be air rolling automatically. But with air roll, as you can see here, if you just press an air roll, your car doesn't turn. You have to actually move your left stick to activate the air roll. So that way, you know, you're never really going to be using the two at the same time. It's actually only helpful. Um, so that is why you should have them bound together frees a bind makes it easier for yourself um and that leads right into our third point and it's really good for wave dashes and it's really good for recoveries so when you have the two separate you have to form the muscle memory of of course pressing two buttons instead of one but when you're doing stuff like wave dashes or chain dashes or just recovering in general having the ability to just hold and press one button again frees up some space on your controller makes the muscle memory a little bit easier um and you only have to worry about pressing that one button so for me it's square if you couldn't tell from the controller uh overlay i have air roll and power slide on square and all i do when i'm wave dashing your covering i just hold square um and this is super super helpful um, especially when I'm recovering out of the air. Um, so if I'm going to be coming off the wall and want to land and keep my momentum, boom, hold power slide. Um, and I talked about this in my wave dash video, but if you didn't know, when you wave dash and I hold nothing, my car stops. But I'll just show you what happens when I hold power slide. Boom, hold power slide. My car continues continues its momentum across the whole map. Um, it's super helpful. And it's a great way to keep your speed and play faster. Which is why I think this is so important. Again, it's not necessary if you're used to it. I mean, I guess keep it. But if you get used to it this way, I, I in my opinion, believe it's a lot better. Um, another thing that's really helpful, if I'm landing on the wall... I can quickly hold power slide slash air roll, land on the wall, jump off and be air rolling to recover. Uh, there's just so many useful um, ways to implement using both at the same time. Um, and that's why I would never suggest having power slide on air roll left or right and only air roll. And why I would also suggest not having power slide as its own bind. I feel like that's a waste of a bind. I feel like it's a little bit um, not useless, but uh, not as useful as putting it with air roll. And again, I feel like I went, I gave some really good points. Wave dashes and recoveries are super important. Logically, it makes sense. You don't use the two at the same time. And again, this might be obvious for people that have been doing it for a long time. But for a lot of the beginner people, this could be a revelation to them. And uh, they could be wondering how to free up some binds or make it easier for themselves. So I hope this helped. I hope this broke through to some people and maybe explain to some people why I have these bindings or why a lot of people have these bindings. 
So yeah, I appreciate it. Drop a like and sub if I helped. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.